martial law will not happen. This is what's going to happen. Well, you know, another thing too, is you bring up a good point. They don't, they don't have to put us behind bars. They can just keep people indoctrinated, keep people force fed. And then if they do not comply, then medicate them, label them with something. Oh, okay. You eat organic. There's, there's a disease. That's a disease. You eat organic. You want, you eat healthy. Yep. That's a disease. You have problems. You, you have health problems now. So we have medication. It's, Oh, CNN, CNN will help this demise. MSNBC will help this demise, you know, maybe even Fox. They're all going to help them, the demise. It's kind of like, you know, in the financial arena, when you're talking about Bitcoin, which is going through the roof right now, um, you listen to Fox and you listen to CNN and they are so against it. They're like, rah, rah, rah. well, why are they against it? Because <laughs> it, it, they can't track it. They can't, they, their hands are off of it. So it's, it's really interesting. This is the same thing. It's like, why are, we're getting this tax reform and, and that's good sort of kind of but w- we kind of missed the whole cash cow the cash cow still lives we we didn't take care of the obamacare we didn't repeal we didn't do anything we keep the cash cow going and and of course you know i mean when you're looking at some of the uh doctors and, and what's going on the doctors have they have no conscience. they have no people skills whatsoever. They come in, they do their job, they look at a computer screen, and they move on. And if you don't want to wait two hours or three hours in the waiting room, leave because there's somebody else to take your place. You know what's popping up all over the place now? You've got these 24-hour urgent cares and ERs that are popping up like fast food restaurants now. And just the, the whole system, in my opinion, is flawed. But when you own an industry that has politicians and lobbyists underneath you and so much money, that you're pretty much untouchable and you profit off of sick people and yeah. you were the one that's supposed to offer them the cure from sickness or the, um, how do I, how do I put it? The band aid from the sickness. It's, it's obvious to me. It's obvious to me. And when people break out of it, it's obvious later in life. All, but what do you think is going to happen now that people are really starting to wake up to this at a mass scale? They're saying, look, we, we have an opportunity now to express our opinions and you know, it's not just one person, in a garage anymore that one person in a garage can reach a billion people around the world so where do we go now well this is what's kind of cool i'm going to tell a little story here um i just invested in a company and it was a very low startup fee and they are basically a non-gmo organic food company that's going to deliver from the farm directly to your house and slash prices so there, there's two or three middlemen that go on they're slashing that directly from the farm to your house you know, salmon at like two ninety nine a pound, which is in its wild caught. So things like that, you know, gr- beef that's grass fed, that's totally organic, five bucks a pound versus what you're paying seven, eight, nine dollars a pound in the stores. And my point to this is, and one of the, the CEO of this company was basically saying, how we kick these guys in the pants is we take the money and we put it somewhere else. We take the money out of going to 70 to 80% of our grocery stores are GMO full, not free, full. Which means if we stop buying this crap, if we stop buying the produce that has uh, pesticides on it, we stop, it's going to rot on the shelves and then we take charge. This is kind of like my whole theory that I said, you know, if you want to get somebody, we have to come together as as a unity and we have to say, okay, let's all ban Chevron gas for the next week. Everybody, you know, in the United States, don't buy Chevron gas. They'd be broke. Boom. Overnight. Okay. Just by having the people ban. But the people are too busy going, okay, we'll do what you say. And this goes back to the self-medication. What if we stood up and said, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. You know, then they'd have to pass laws to say you have to medicate, which isn't that the California law. You have to vaccinate your kids. I mean, isn't that where we are? So to me, when you have forced medical Something very loud wrong is being said. You know, you talk about the vaccines that are being forced um, under virtually all circumstances. If you have children and you want them to go in public or even the, the people that work in the medical industry, they're also guinea pigs and they get injured just like everybody else. These vaccines are a form of gene therapy. Because yes, you're literally are. injecting genetically modified organisms directly yes. into the bloodstream and it bypasses and it-, it Viruses, the yes. DNA. There's so, a connection to autism. Yeah, absolutely. This is, a, this is huge. And to me, it's like, so they've, they've wooed all the people to be nurses, men and women to be nurses. They pay them greatly, handsomely, right? But guess what? There is a catch. 
you will take the vaccine. You will be our guinea pigs. And if you don't, that's fine. You don't work here anymore. I've talked to several people the past month that are in the military or retired military. And one of them went through five different sets of the anthrax vaccine, five different levels. And I just think to myself, I don't even, I can't even imagine what it would have done to my body. Certain people can, you know, their bodies will kind of get rid of the toxins differently than others. But I've heard about people that had the anthrax vaccine in the military afterwards that were 300 pounds after they got shot up, they were having convulsions on the ground and they couldn't even have some, a doctor give them that vaccine because it was still experimental. So, you know, it's gene therapy right there. And I've heard that some of these things could even go to the next you know, next generation. So even if your kid isn't vaccinated, if you were, some of those genes can go to your children also. Absolutely. And there's so many people I've talked to with autism. And of course, you, you have to see what they and them are doing. Again, people like Robert De Niro and his son has autism. And what does he do? He says, hey, I think we need to look into this. He didn't say let's come against it. He just said, let's just look into it. And boom, he's blackballed. Um, you know, Carey, same thing. Jim Carey, you know, has an autistic child. Same thing. You know, he, he doesn't come against it at all. Why? Because he won't get any parts anymore. So, I mean, why is this? If you, if you come against the establishment, they're going to make you pay. And this is, this is where we as a, as a unity need to come up and stand up and say, no, we're going to start leaving the GMOs on the shelf. We're going to start doing, we want fresh water. We don't want fluoridated water. And we need to go to our cities and say, we don't want fluoridated water. There's not a country out there that's fluoridating their water except for the U.S. All the, all the other countries are kicking out GMOs, but boy, not the U.S. We're sitting there. We're number one with GMOs. Number one. Number one. And we're sharp. We are sharp people. And we're number one with GMOs. What is the problem here? Well, it's like we're in this corporate system where if you've got the money, then you've got the honey. You can make the honey however you want. You can even use robotic bees. You know, companies are, oh, well, yes, our pesticides are killing off the bees. And yeah, I know that if the bees all die, then we might die shortly after. But we'll just make robotic bees. And we'll patent that. And we'll make money on that, too. It's just this consume, consume, consume anything that's artificial that you can patent, that you can make money on, that you can have the corporate Borg usurp up and purchase and then release into the world. And if it makes people sick, hey, even better, because then you can make a deal with the pharmaceutical medical mafia industrial complex. And there's another opportunity because they love us so much. Well, I find it interesting because, you know, where's the spiritual aspect in this? And, and you know, they say, oh, there's no spiritual because they're just, it's just man trying to deal with things. But let me tell you something, there's something very spiritual going on because one's trying to be in charge of man and man is not in charge of man. That's not, that's the way it is. You know, and I'm looking at you, Rex, and I'm thinking you're up to something. <laughs> Everybody's going to get the Oops, face. Did I put this on split screen while you're still talking? It's good, oh, yeah. man. I'm looking at you. I'm looking. He's mixing up his goods. I'm oh, I can't wait to try this. I mean, the vanilla is amazing. The chocolate's amazing. I got this yesterday and I had a little bit of vanilla left this morning. So I figured, okay, I'm going to save this for the show with Ronnie because this is new. This stuff is mocha flavored. And wow, I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely incredible. I almost had to buckle up for this, but you know, me and seatbelts, they just don't jive. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is, this is the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hello, that is awesome. And I think that if this was like a couple ice cubes in there, oh man, it'd be even better. This is delicious. And now you're probably not gonna get me to stop talking because it's like, it's like an extra bang. Little Starby kind of idea. It's just got a little bit of touch to it. You know, that whole coffee, mocha, chocolate, you know. Mm. Mm. And the aftertaste. And you're getting well like when you're drinking it. It's, it's great. I like the aftertaste. It's just a little bit there. And I feel like I just had a, a really good couple shots of espresso, but I didn't. So how cool is that? And you're getting well while you're drinking it. Yeah, this stuff is so good for you. Um, I know somebody that I gave this to because they had bad breath and they were like, they couldn't figure out why they brush their teeth all the time. They took this stuff for a week. Their breath now is awesome. Like they're, they don't have that problem anymore. So autoimmunity stuff, you know, here's another thing. I forget to always talk about this, but do you know, it's, I think the, the number is something like 30 something percent of women cannot listen to me very carefully, cannot breastfeed. 
So you go down to the market and you get a formula, which if you look it up on formulas, that's a scary, scary thing. Do you know that you can mix up the formula, the uh, colostrum, warm it up and give it to your baby? Dunna. Well, isn't colostrum essentially like the building blocks of like the first milk and these oh, yeah. cows if, that if, are eating if a cow, If a cow does not, if a calf does not get the mother's milk in the first 24 hours of its birth, the calf will die. Fact. And then you were saying also that you, even though this comes from cows, it's not taking, there's enough for the, the calf as well. It's not hurting. Yeah, I've had that. And, and, and you know, and it's kind of cute actually, but, um, you know, they get worried. They're like, oh, so calves are dying. We don't want this colostrum because calves are dying. You're taking them. Let me tell you something. Uh, I had a cow, so I know. And my cow could produce, are you ready? Seven gallons of milk a day. Okay. So, no, you're not stealing. We're not stealing calves. We're not stealing there. I mean, some, cow, some cows have twins, okay? So does that mean they only have enough for one? No, they have enough for two. They have enough for three. And again, the more you milk the cow, the more it comes in. And that's the same thing with women. Women, the doctors will say, oh, you don't have very much milk for your, your kids, so you need to get formula that they're told to push this. Well, guess what? A mother's milk doesn't come in right away. The more the baby drinks, the more the milk comes in. So it's just kind of, it's a natural thing. So what happens is if they hear this from the doctor, oh, well, you, you don't have much milk. I can see that the baby's struggling. The baby's probably going to die. So you need to get formula going because the baby just needs to, you know, overdose on formula. No, not at all. So, you know, if, if they could have help with somebody natural, it'd, it'd be great. But, you know, a lot of mothers are put in a corner. Let me ask you a question also. We were talking about those microchips in medicines and now, you know, maybe in the future they're going to do it to vitamins also because people are going to be abusing vitamins. Oh, that's a vitamin C tablet. Oh, we better put a tracking thing in that. Oh, that's a, that's a bag of organic chips. Yes, we're going to put a tracking chip on each chip. Do you think it could get to the point to where they could actually track our foods and our beverages and everything to the point, all it goes back to a certain cloud, a network, it tracks your, your, you know, what your body is doing combined with what you're consuming. There's a computer chip that contracts, that tracks all cash. Okay. So they know where all cash is. In fact, it's a microwave chip. So basically if they want to microwave your hundred dollar bill, your $50 bill, your $20 bill, uh, they can do that. And you literally, your cash will be destroyed. So can they microchips, uh, you know, they're doing it with medicine. Will it go to supplements? Probably because that way let's use vitamin C. So we have coral C and I think ours is 400 and something milligrams or 600 milligrams. I can't remember. So all of a sudden you, the RDA is about a thousand milligrams a day for vitamin C. Okay. Which by the way, won't do jack. Okay. You need to take a lot of milligrams to really rock and roll. If you want to do something like, uh, it's known that if you have a cold, you take it up to about three or 4,000 milligrams. Um, if you have a problem, I can't mention certain things because of FDA, but if you have a major problem, you need to take it up to between seven, eight, and 12,000 milligrams, which is 12 grams of vitamin C. But if it had a microchip in it, you wouldn't be able to do that. They would call and say, you can't do that. That's, that's not legal. That's against the law. And they can make it a law. They can, that's how they'll probably do things. They'll make it a law that you can't take over 1,000 milligrams. They'll chip the product. And this is where we get, it gets scary because if we can't take – it's like if you're in the Sahara Desert and you say, oh, Ronnie, I'm so thirsty. And I say, oh, here, Rex. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to take care of you. Here's a shot glass full of water. Is that going to help you? No. And that's exactly how supplements are today. Well, I'm also thinking too, you know, they're like, okay, you've had your second scoop of colostrum for the day. Send in the Daleks. You know, they're going to track everything. It sends it back to the cloud. No, that person cannot have a kombucha. Um, <laughs> I mean, th this is crazy, man, because you're, I've, I remember 20 years ago, those little strips that are in like hundred dollar bills, $20 bills, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. And I heard about these specific radar guns that if you're at an airport, as an example, there could be security there. If they want to make sure that people aren't moving a bunch of money, they could you know, use this radar thing and it'll pick up those strips. And then each strip has a serial number on it. that will show exactly where it came from. So even though 
there, there's still a physical form of cash. It can be tracked, but I, I haven't heard about that microwave technology from satellites. It makes sense. So I'm imagining you can microwave a twenty dollar bill in the microwave, and it'll it'll burn. It'll blow up. Isn't that wild? It's really disgusting. If you know, I don't want to spend twenty bucks doing that. But you know, <laughs> it, it kind of gives you an idea where you know why would they do that? You know, and and again, we're going to the control, the control of Europe, because that's why our money turned all of a sudden different colors, because that's what Europe's money is, all different colors. So they're making the turn. And the key is, is I think the people are at a point where they've been pushed in the corner a little bit too much. And they're, you know, the uh, the Indians are getting restless. You know, another thing, too, with the cryptocurrencies, I read an article that was from 1988, uh, The Economist magazine from January 9th, 1988, that talked about a one world currency, and they were going to call it the rise of the phoenix. But when it described a, a bounty of national currencies being created, newer ones being created, uh, jockeying for position, the way that I gathered it was kind of like this cryptocurrency craze. There's over 1,500 of them right now. And, you know, you can pick up just a ridiculous amount of actual assets for one electronic currency of a Bitcoin. And that's cool. I get it. I mean, if, if you've got the money and you know how to play the charts and the graphs, good for you. I just find it incredible how quick it's gone up. I wonder if it's going to, you know, if it's going to fall as fast as it rose, if it's going to fall faster. That's definitely speculation. But do you think that if it all becomes a, a tracking network, everything's controlled, what will that be like for organic supplementation? I mean, for, for people like you that actually make quality products that for me anyway, they work fantastic. Um, I've got my mother-in-law on several things from get the tea. She takes these D365 tabs. They work great for her. She loves them. So I know a lot of people that have gotten off of a lot of um, synthetic drugs and gone to a organic supplementation program and it works a lot better for them. So, I mean, does that worry you? In a sense, I mean, are you waiting for some new lottery pass where it's like, okay, you must now track and have a smart meter application when you take a, you know, GI Joy tablet? <laughs> uh, I probably will retire. So, you know, my deal is for the next two to five years, um, I'm going to do what's right for people. But when they start seeing you will get in our system and you will do this and you will, you know, I mean, I'm FDA compliant. I do what I'm supposed to be doing. But when it gets to a point where they say you can't have this or you can't have this or doctor's note for this, I will be done with it. Um, I will say, you know what? I love you guys. You know, here, here's where it's at. I mean, because those will, those will be the end days. I mean, you look at, um, and, and, and let's, let's talk about this. You're talking about the Bitcoin and the crypto technology and going on and it's rising crazy. I mean, I think Bitcoin right now is 17,000 plus 18,000 almost. And it changes a thousand dollars a day up or down, but it's been moving upwards. I mean, it was a month ago that it was 12,000 bucks. So it's moving up and is it going to keep moving up? And everybody's, and then this is my opinion. It's my thought process. Here you go with some conspiracy. I think they're luring everybody in with profits because the profits are going through the roof. So everybody's going, Hey, you know, I got 500 bucks. I don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. I could just buy $500 worth. So they get $500 worth to the, the medium, you know, people that don't have a lot of money and they're not poor and rich people and everybody else. So everybody invests in this. And then all of a sudden it gets hacked, but we don't know where it got hacked from. Do we? So in other words, it goes completely. Koreans. It goes, yeah, they're going to blame it on North Koreans. They'll blame it on China, whatever. And in fact, it could be our own boys, you know, underground, but it's gone. And guess what? Now everybody's broke. Oh, you know what we can do? The U.S. will save the day. We will change the currency and we will all give you fresh currency to start with. Everybody's on the same level. That's, uh, that's, my, that's my thoughts. You, so the key with uh, cryptocurrency is to get in and get out. Somebody from the live chat asked where the ingredients come from that you use. I try very hard to do USA ingredients. They're not all USA ingredients. Um, but a lot of people have real problems with different ingredients, you know, different places. All I know is most of my ingredients is from the U S but there are some trees like the Moringa tree. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't get a Moringa tree in the USA. So it goes in Africa or it goes in India. Well, these products, we have to make sure that we have the COA so that that product is GMO free. And that product is basically has no, uh, no pesticides on it. So we're, 
we're organic, and we're GMO-free. Do you have any specials going on right now for the holidays for our Leak Project audience? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Nice. And by the way, that, that uh, mocha you just did, it just got on the website an hour ago. An hour ago. So Boom. it's a good, And you get two weeks worth of tea for free with that if you buy that. Also, let you know, we have the biggest special of the year going on. You buy two packages of tea and you get one package absolutely free. That's $35 savings. So that's a big one too. Um, we have one called Cancer Awareness on the front page. It's on the specials page. And then, of course, we just have the specials page. Like my favorite is always the big three because you get the colostrum, you get the Allison, which is a mind blower, and you get the tea. Those three, you know, if you have those three in your pantry, life is good. Now, what about somebody that might be lactose intolerant? That was a question from the chat. Lactose intolerance is um, if you're really lactose intolerant, like, oh my God, you know, over the top, you might probably not want to do the colostrum, but there's very, very little lactose in the colostrum. So if you just have a little bit, like some people are gluten intolerant, but they can take a little bit. And some people are, I mean, like any kind of gluten at all, they're deathly ill. So um, if you're just a little bit lactose intolerant, you know, you, you can't go drink a big glass of milk, you're probably okay with the colostrum. But if you get like, you know, deathly ill with lactose, then I would tell you to stay away. And do you have anything for um, somebody that might have a tough time concentrating? No, I don't yet. Um, but actually, believe it or not, the tea does a lot for that because um, it cleans. When you have garbage in you, put it that way, when you have garbage in how do you concentrate? How do you think right? Does that make sense? So when you get toxic stuff, you know, if you, if you drink something that's toxic, do you think right? No. So when you cleanse yourself, and that's whether you do the T or the D365, either one, that's going to help you. You know, and I just got these. I can't wait to, um, these are called Eighth Element. Ooh, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, so these are, these are magic mushrooms, correct? Cancer awareness. <laughs> yes, they're mushrooms. Yes, okay. they are. And they are, um, they're over the top. I, I sell a lot of eighth element, a lot of eighth element. You betcha. Mushrooms are magical, <laughs> but no, and it won't get you high. So I'm, I'm making little puns, but there, you won't get high taking these pills. So. You know, I, I really like it when you come on the show because we can bounce ideas back and forth off each other. I mean, you've been in this industry for a while. You've also done radio. I mean, you've had your own talk show. You've spent countless hours doing research into the new New World Order that loves us so much. You know, let me ask you one more question before we close out tonight, Ronnie, and I really appreciate you coming on the show. With, with everything that's going on right now across the stage, I, I'm sure you probably saw how UN is being invited to patrol the streets of Chicago. And yeah, and, how exciting we should be. Yeah. Wait. Yay. Yeah. Thank you guys. Boy, we didn't, we, we, we were scared till you came. What's going on. I mean, does that make you a little bit nervous seeing that kind of stuff? Cause you were probably warned about it years ago, just like I was. Yeah. The war games, the prison camps, uh, martial law, you know, but I, I was reporting for 12 years of radio and I've been semi reporting for two years, guests on different stations and stuff. And so it's been a total of 14 years. There's not been martial law. Um, it's a lot of scare tactics. They scare us by our mind, controlling our mind. Um, that is, and, and all the things that we report on, these are realities. These are actually happening. This is not a, a game. This is not conspiracy. This is fact. There's a difference. Um, I got out of it because by going that direction, it, it actually helped me get sick. Um, the mind is a powerful tool. You can use it to heal yourself and you can actually use it to put you in your, your grave. So if we believe, this is just a, a little nutshell, if we believe that they and them win, they might win on this plane. But if we believe that we have the power and that we have a God so all powerful that is going to you know, come against all of this and make justice right, and I do, my personal belief is that. And, and, you know, I, I'm not a, how do I say it? I've kind of shied away from religion. I'm not gone into the guru stuff, but I've shied away from, from the organized religion because some of that is controlled by they and them. But the long and the short of it is we do have a God that is so much different 
that has connected us with our bodies and with our trees and with our animals and, and made us loving and caring. And, and these things that are running our earth, they're not loving and they're not caring. Um, I always talk to them and say, you know, you still have time to get on the right side. You know, they're on the dark side. Luke, I'm your father. <laughs> so, but the long and the short of it is, um, I think justice is going to prevail. It always prevails. Love always conquers. Love always endures. And I think that's where we're headed um, one way or another. And so to me, if they go, I, you know, we're going to scare you with death. We're going to kill you. I just go, well, go ahead and be, because I'm going to be your worst ghost. <laughs> I like your style. I'm going to be here where I'm going to haunt the heck out of you. I'm going to be right on your back, baby. You're going to be hearing voices the rest of your life. <laughs> Just shaking things, you know, they'll be sleeping and all of a sudden you'll shake stuff. And I'm going to move their Big life. Mac across the dash. I mean, I've got all kinds of plans. You could get, yeah, you could get a, a chalkboard and you know, and you know what? The worst thing that we do is we lose our keys. They're never going to find their keys. Oh yeah. There you go. The wallet and the keys. The oh gosh. Well, I mean, I feel like it was Christmas early. I mean, I got to tell you this stuff. I'm just like, okay, Christmas time. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So colostrum, you guys, definitely worth checking out. I mean, I take sometimes two scoops a day. Really, I mean, I guess you could just take one scoop a day. But I love this stuff maybe a little too much. Uh, the GI Joy tablets are amazing. That was my spoon. And uh, can't wait to start taking some magic mushrooms. And my mother-in-law takes these D365. She loves these things. And Ronnie, you're awesome, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate time. you. And you know what? With those people that are watching, when you buy the product, please let me know that you heard Rex because uh, he's the man, you know? He, I, I, and, and you know, it's funny. This last month we heard a couple of, they were like, man, he keeps talking about this colostrum, you know? So we're buying the colostrum because he just won't stop about the colostrum. So I thought that was kind of funny. But the colostrum, for those of you out there that have a stomach ache, let me tell you something. You have a stomach ache, try the colostrum. It'll change your life. Rex, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, be excellent to each other. Have a Merry Christmas. Have happy holidays if you know Christmas isn't your thing. Happy holidays to you and be the change you want to see.